Okay, we are going to do a pod review today on this pepper right here, and this is called the Shata pepper. I think that's how you say it. Correct spelling will be in the description and the title, and whatever information I can scrub on the net on it will be in there, and you will be able to get the information down below in the description. So here it is, the Shata, or Shatash. I'm not sure. I spelt it, but the writing off it is kind of faded away, so I can't read it, what it is. And I'm not running in the house to go and find out how you pronounce it. So here it is. It's a beautiful little cayenne type shaped pepper. Looks like a large type of cayenne, but it's short in stature, so it's definitely not a cayenne. You can see the cap on it right here. Very, very interesting looking cap. Not your typical cayenne type cap because cayenne caps really come down a lot further. And this is a lot shorter. So it's an interesting pepper, to say the least. Not sure what country it's from. It could be from Turkey or it could be an Arab, Arab Arabic pepper. Somewhere from Arabia or, or Afghanistan or something. I'll find the information on it on the net. I'll try to put it in the uh, description. So that's what it looks like and let's turn you around and give it a go all right what's up guys whoa is it a hot one today oh it just hit a hundred today i'm out here now and it's clouds are kind of pulling in gonna give us a little rain but with the rain comes the humidity and boy i'm telling you i i am wickedly high out here so anyway here it is the chatas pepper or chata pepper and uh that's it it's a gorgeous looking pepper. Don't know much about it offhand. I know I got information about this, so I will put it in the description once I upload the video. So here it is, and uh, let's give it a go. There's heat on it. A little bit tangy. Skins are really thick on this thing. I hope this ain't a gut cramper. It's not real hot right now. But there's something in it. It's not real hot at the moment. It could be a creeper. This thing has definitely got uh it's got some heat on it. Reminds me a lot of the yellow golden cane. It's got that effect on your stomach. Even though it's not that hot, it cramps your stomach up. It's one of those kind of peppers. When you eat them straight, if you cook with this thing, it's not bad. My mouth is beginning to burn. Pretty good from it, all the way to the back of the throat. This thing's got a little kick. Again, it's it's kind of a gut cramper. It's not not real bad, not real bad. I've had worse, believe me when I tell you. But I can feel it in my stomach. Kind of my stomach's kind of knotting up. The heat is all the way to the back of the throat, tip of the tongue mainly. Nothing really on the top of the tongue. The lips are burning. But in the back of the throat. It's hitting the back of the throat and then down into the throat a little bit out where you swallow. This would be really good if you had a cold. Sore throat, that kind of a thing. Whew. It's hot out here, man. And these things that make it easier. Wow. The heat on this thing was... Uh, it was pretty strong. It's starting to come down now. It's a quick kind of a heat. It's very much like a cane. The flavor is very nice. Skins were incredibly thick on this. I don't know. It could just be that it's the first pepper off the plant. So maybe the skins won't be as thick down the road. This is probably a pepper. Suitable for drying. My mouth is really watering. Not because I'm sick, but just salivating. And um, my lips are burning. Almost gave me a gut cramp. If I ate this whole pepper, I would cramp up. The flavor is very nice, though. It's in the cane flavor range. It doesn't quite taste like a cane, but it's in that flavor zone. Okay, when I talk about the flavors, I'm trying to refer to flavors that you're probably used to. And those flavor profiles would be bell pepper flavor um 
cayenne type flavor and habanero type flavor. There's generally those three flavor ranges that are, you know, peppers could kind of lean into those areas. Sometimes they're in between. Other peppers like pubescence, capsaicin pubescence or ricotta peppers, they, they're, they're in a the flavor of their own. So, but most of the peppers I grow and taste test are in one of those three flavor ranges. They're generally going to be fruity like a habanero or nice and, nice and uh, smooth like a cane or sweet like a bell pepper made with or without a little heat on them like poblanos or something. But this kind of flavor kind of falls into the cane type of flavors. It is a little bit different. I really like the flavor of this though. Very rich, very. It has a very rich flavor to it, and and it, it it just it stays in the back of your mouth. It's a very nice, pleasant type of effect you get from it. The heat is pretty hot on this. As far as the heat goes, I'm gonna say if I was to put a, a range on this, uh, I'd probably say it's a little hotter than a jalapeno. That's for sure. Definitely, when it's starting to cramp my stomach like that. Though, sometimes my stomach cramps with certain types of peppers, even if they're not that hot. Just because of the type of cayenne in it that's in there. I mean, not the cayenne, uh, capsaicin. Whew, getting through this. It's still hot. My mouth is still burning up. So, as far as the heat intensity of it, I would probably say you're probably pushing 15 to 20,000 on a Scovels. I don't think that's being on, on uh, you know, um, over. I'm not over uh, it, doing it. I think that's about where it would be. Now, this is the first pepper. Other peppers may get even hotter. And if you do a stress, if you start to stress your plant, you'll get these peppers even hotter than what I'm telling you. You could probably bring that temperature up to like 30,000 if you, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm doing a video on how to bring the heat up on peppers by stressing and if you're one of those type of people you really want to get really hot peppers i'm going to show you how to do it just the way it is the normal watering i do and everything this thing is probably between 15 and 20 thousand this thing has definitely got some serious heat on it that's just a guesstimate i mean i don't know exactly i'm not a pepper scoville taste tester i wish i was but i'm not it's definitely hot it's it's very hot. My mouth burned up and my stomach started to cramp a little. And when I get that, you're up there. My mouth was watering too. Sometimes when my, when my mouth waters like that, that could be a sign of, uh, you know, projection. I may projectile vomit. Not gonna from this. I mean, it's not that hot. But um, usually when I eat really hot peppers and my mouth starts to water like that, I, I got to get ready because it could happen at any moment and I don't want that stuff packed up into my sinuses because that is really painful. <laughs> no, it's an easy pepper. It's nothing like that. Did just cramp my stomach a little bit, a little bit, not much. Cramped up a little and if you eat it with food or you're cooking with it, you're going to be fine. You, you Don't worry about it. Just eating them straight, any kind of pepper, you could get that reaction to it, even regular cane. So now as far as cooking with it, this would go good with any kind of salsa, any kind of picante sauce, any kind of, uh, you know, uh, hot sauces or anything like that. This would be good with, and it would probably also make a really good pickling pepper. In my opinion, it's a little bit thick walled. So it the, it the wall's not thick. I mean, it, the skins are really thick on it. So this would probably really make a good drying pepper more than anything. But you can eat these fresh. If you macerate them inside of a blender or a food processor, you'll probably be able to get by that with no problem. Mix it into a salsa or something like that and then cook the salsa a little bit. You'll be fine. But it's definitely a pepper worth investigating. If you're somebody who's looking to expand a little bit, into different pepper flavors getting ready to rain or something here <coughs> sorry I got to, I digress definitely check this one out I will offer seeds for this at the end of the year on my website and I will make it available so go to hrseeds.com and check out my peppers 
for the new one for the end of the year. You'll see them at the end of the pages, page five, Pepper's page five, Pepper's page six, whatever. It'll be like towards the last. I'll be adding these. I don't think I added this to the website yet. But anyway, uh, that was it. That was your pepper review for the uh, Shatash or Shata pepper. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.